So, <laughs> it's not all about your spoonula. There are many ways of icing a cupcake. One of the easiest ways to do it is piping it with a piping bag. This is a disposable one. It's closed at one end, so what I need to do is to open that up. Now we're going to use this round nozzle, which we now need to put into our piping bag like this. Ooh. Right to the end, give it a little tug just to make sure it's nice and snug in there. And then this is a pretty big bag, so the best thing to do is to turn it over. That will help you to make less mess, hopefully. Um, and it means you don't have to go quite so far with your spatula. So I've got some pink buttercream here. I'm just going to give it a little stir about. Make sure you've got all those air bubbles out, because if you've got air bubbles in there, you'll see them when you pipe them out. You want to gather it all up on your spoon or spatula, and then take your piping bag and just plop it in, basically, like so. And you can get your hand up and in, into the collar of it and just wipe the spoon on your hand inside. Waste not, want not. Just whack it in there. I like to give it a bit of a jump around just to kind of knock a bit more air out and make sure all the icing is kind of in one lump rather than kind of dotted about in blobs with air in between. Um, and then curl that top back over, starting at the bottom, just kind of make sure you kind of seal it so you've got less air in there. And then twist it. If you don't twist it, when you squeeze it, it's all just gonna like explode at the, at the wrong end, which is not preferable. So give it a twist, make sure all the icing's at the bottom of the bag. And I like to hold it with, with the twist kind of over my knuckle. It keeps it secure in my hand. The main thing about piping buttercream to remember is it's butter. So if you put your hands all over it, it's just gonna melt it. So you wanna keep as little contact as possible, which is why it's important to kind of have it all going down the bottom, which is why the twist is particularly important. So, starting right in the middle, give it a good squeeze until you've got a fair amount of coverage and then squeezing as, at the same time, just kind of swerp it. Swerp it, is that a word? It is now. So once you've piped your cupcake and it's looking pretty good, you can make it look even better by using decorations and stuff. And there's loads available in the supermarket that you can get little flowers like this. Make it look really pretty. So here's the finished piped cupcake. You can see the difference between the hand iced cupcake and the piped cupcake. This is a little bit more classy, maybe. A little bit more neat and tidy. Um, looks really good. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be amazing everyone and eating a lot of cake, probably. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link. Thanks for having me and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye. If you've liked this as much as I've liked this, then click on like. And if you've got any ideas or comments or anything to say, then pop them in the comments box below. I'd love to hear from you.